Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 12 of Darwell20's Let's Play of All the Mods Skyblock, uh, where I've got some all the modi more. So I'm going to drop that into my purifying factory here, which to my knowledge is the currently, for me, best way to process this stuff. It's like all other ores, basically that, and then that, and then that, and then yay! All the modium. Sweet. That is cool beans right there. I'm assuming this is the main thing I do with it. I just process it. Like, there's there's really not much else that I could put it on or do anything with, right? Like, you can get the liquid version, but I assume that's doable with the ingots already. So really just process it, and then you're good to go. So cool. I'm excited that I have this stuff now. Cool beans. Why is there a plus there? Probably because I can craft it. Craftable, right? That's probably why. That, that, that would make a lot of sense. That would be smart. That would be a good reason that that plus is there. All right, cool. So I got 28 all the modium from that. All right, let's take a look at our quests. So that unlocked a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, first off, we get some dust for doing the completion and we get a nugget. Yay, don't underestimate my power. I won't. I won't. Now that is a fast furnace, but it needs a lot of ore blocks and ores. Uh, there's also gear uh, that you can get. Again, it looks like you can either upgrade an existing one. Indestructible. Piglins become neutral. No crash damage when flying with an elytra. Water breathing. Well, that's cool. And look at the, like, significant armor toughness and armor on these things. Like, that is some serious business right there. Look, so we go from 3 armor and 3 armor toughness to 10 armor and 125 armor toughness? Say what? All the modium chest plate, indestructible. Piglins become neutral. Immune to all damage sources using fire and lava. Well, that is cool. Uh, and no fall damage. Well, sign me up for that one. For reals. That is cool. Uh, all right. Well, that's a pretty powerful set of gear. Now I'm just curious what these guys do. Uh, protection from all damage sources using wither. Magic resistance. Immune to nausea. Nice. That's pretty cool. Now, this one does need the previous tier. This one absolutely does require the previous tier. All right, well, that's good to know. Sweet. So that gear looks pretty ridiculous. Uh, talk to me about... Is there a sword? There is a sword. Uh, do, the, do the other tools have neat abilities on them? Indestructible. 59 attack damage. 5.5 attack speed. I mean... What? This is ridiculously powerful stuff. Like, absurdly powerful. Um, and all the modium pickaxe is also indestructible. All the all the tools look indestructible, apparently. Um, fast to eat, can always eat. Absorption, regeneration, all the modium. Okay. Fast to eat, can always eat. Wow, 20 and 160. But, so this is the thing I never understood. Like, what's the point of that 160 saturation? Like, you can't really get that high ever, right? I don't think so. Um... Neato Burrito. What mod is this from? All the Modium is the name of the mod. Cool. Wow. Look at the sword for Vibranium. 117 attack damage, 233 attack damage on the Unobtainium one. That's bananas. Protection from Shulker Levitation attacks. I like the sound of that. All right. I mean, it all looks pretty cool. It really does. Um, the nether to the other. The other, I think, is where we get the vibranium from. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's melt this up. Let's put this away. Um, and that should be good. Cool. I'm, like, a little bit not sure what to do with this stuff because it's so ridiculously powerful. One thing I want to make, though, is the all the modium sight potion, I think. Um, because... Yeah, that's a thing that's happening. Um, all the modium sight potion. So there is a potion for this and a charm. The charm, I assume, is just a all the time version of the potion. And all the modium sight is calcinated all the modium powder, which you can make with all the modium powder by smelting it. And all the modium powder is a pestle, an ingot, a mortar, and an ender powder. So that looks really easy to make. 
Uh, and I'm hoping, because it's named all the modium site, it lets me see more of this ore through the walls. And that could be cool. So I want to try that thing out. Um, so what we want to make then is all the modium powder, which needs ender powder, which is a pestle, and a mortar, which needs bricks, which needs clay. Do we have any clay? I think we do. Uh, we don't. Do we have any dust handy? We don't. Do we have any sand? No, we don't. Do we have any grab? No, we don't. Holy cow, do I have nothing? Let's talk about how much nothing I have. Right? Do I have a lot of nothing or what? So let's 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 do the thing that gets us the stuff. So I'm gonna want at least a little bit of dust, right? And let's go get some water. And I could do this with laser IO, by the way, like I did with the netherrack, but meh, we don't need that much. I'm gonna get like half a stackish. Does that sound good? Okay, and then you to that, and then that, and then that, and then give me that clay back, and we will smelt it up into bricks. And then we should have no problem getting the mortar. Nice. Okay, so now just make the ender powder, which needs an ender pearl first. There you go, all the modium powder, which we smelt into that stuff. And then that is used in a brewing stand. So do we have a, one of those rod dudes? We do not have a blaze rod. Now, if we had some generalized nether prediction from that mod, we could get it. Um, is there anything else sneaky that gets us blaze rods? So, a metal press can make them. But what if we got a blaze doll, right? Oh, look, they added a ponder for it. Nice. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's make one of those. Um, so that should be doable. We just need a porcelain doll, which needs porcelain clay. Is it more for an emerald? Yeah, might as well do the emerald one, right? I have just as many emeralds as I, you know, otherwise. Sweet. And give me another word while you're at it. Do we Are we like, where do we get? Oh, no, we have plenty of other words. I don't know where I got them from. Sieving soul sand gets us another work. Yeah, so we have plenty of that. That I'm not worried about. Cool. And then it should just be a matter of... Oh, wow. Look how much experience I have. I like that, too. You know what I'm going to try? So I'm just curious, 13 attack damage, 17 attack damage. That is such peanuts compared to the all the modium. Now, in fairness, we do need in order to get the sword, uh, which is indestructible, by the way, so cool. Uh, but we need all the modium plates, which looks easy enough to get, and all the modium rods, which also looks easy enough to get, right? So how about that? And then we want two of these. Why would I not make this sword right now? Can anybody give me a reason that I would not do something? Oh man, it's like instant. And it's 59 attack damage. That is so broken, I love it. <laughs> I really do, I'm not lying. Like that is really stinking cool. Um, ooh, and I even get one of these as a quest reward, nice. All right, neato, burrito. Uh, and then that is a coal site, huh? Well, that's neat. But we need three of these to make the charm. So I need to go through the, the, the process anyway. So let's go stick that in there. So that should start spawning a blaze. Um, and that should be cool. And then we should look into Apotheosis soon. Wow, that was cool.
But I, I did not get a blaze rod for that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no blaze rod. Hooray, blaze rod! Which now can make me a brewing stand. And then that just needs some blaze powder, which as a reminder, we have plenty of. Okay. Uh, and then water bottles. We're going to need three of them, so I'm just going to make... Ow. Boo. That should be cool. Nice. And while we're at it, get me a couple stacks of glass. And then you. Doesn't hurt to have a little extra sand. So then you potion up into mundane. And while I'm here, This sword is so broken, I, I I can't even describe to you guys in words how broken this sword is, and I'm here for it, 100%. Come here, cows. I really need some leather, and uh, that would be cool of you. I'm just saying. Some leather would be nice. I heard the ding, so I think we're cool. All right, back in a sec once I'm ready. All right, let's get to work. So, uh, I believe I just tossed this in here. Is that right? Calcinated all the modium powder. Mundane potion. That's what we... Oh, we have an awkward potion. Hold on, what's mundane? Well, there's your problem. I assumed it was... Uh, the other kind. All right, so you need a mundane potion, which is sugar, redstone, or blaze powder. Okay. Well. And as a reminder, this is a tile entity. There we go. Nice. And then I should be able to use this to get the charm. All the modium sight charm. Sweet. That's cool. All right, so it has a durability thing, obviously. Um, that completes the quest, which gets me another all the modium ingot. Cool. Let's pop back into the Twilight Forest and try it out, because I'm curious to see how it works. Because if I got a little bit more of this all the modium stuff, I would feel better about making a full armor set and pickaxe. All right, so we were heading towards probably, let's head back to the big caves. Now, since I'm on a small cave, oh, hello. That's cool. I like that quite a bit. Let's leave this active for a few seconds so we can see what the durability looks like. But keep in mind how easy this was to make, right? So we should not be worried about running out here. Look at that. There you go. And then I'll vein mine it. And I only got the one, but that's to be expected. Now, at what point? Oh, wow. You stay on for a few seconds. Okay, there we go. And then turn it back on. And I assume at this point... Yeah, okay, cool. So option two is doing that thing in Minecraft that you always want to do, which is dig straight down, right? That's that's the best thing to do in Minecraft. That's neat. And I believe there's a potion for all of these, if I'm not mistaken, right? So there's, you know, crimson iron, aluminum, gold, lapis, zinc, silver, lead, coal, iron. I've not seen this mod before. And I'm going to say... 
that's pretty cool. That is really cool. All right, so I'm gonna head back to our big cave and see what we can see. Cool, so that would be over there. Be right back when I get there. And for fun, as I travel, I'm looking to see if there's any... I, I think the book said that you only find this stuff in, in, in the caves in Twilight. But it doesn't hurt to check to see if there's any, you know, elsewhere. Pretty cool, right? I kind of want to get that, like, no fall damage boots thing. I want, to be fair, I want all the armor. Like, let's not lie. That's 100% what I want is all the armor. But, yeah, see, I'm not seeing any anywhere. So it looks like it only exists inside those big caves. So now I'm purposely leaving it on as I approach the cave because I'm curious, like, how frequently does it refresh? Right? I'm assuming at some point it probably will. Did I potentially get all of it from this cave? Because I did, you know, spend a significant amount of time here. See, there is some kind of spawner here for creepers, I suspect. Now, had I not found this in the in the small caves, I'd be questioning if this thing was working. I also don't know the range of it. There's no good indication of where, you know, how far it can see. But we know it works because we saw it work before. It's possible that I just happened to get all the modium from this area already. Right? I don't want to just leave it on because it's durability based. So... Oh, hello. Hello. Falling. Is there any down here by chance? Apparently not. Okay. So back in a few once I dig my way out of this deep dark cave that I just found myself in. Found some. Nice. Actually found a couple. I decided to climb up tall. So it doesn't look like it has a huge radius, but I mean, good nonetheless, right? Yeah, it's not a particularly... Hey. Loving this new sword, though. It was definitely a good call to get the new sword. Yeah, I'm liking this charm. Now, as we saw, there's also a potion you can get. Hey, that works. All right, cool. Now, where was the other one? That way. Okay, cool. That is a lot of lapis that I just got. Whoops. Okay. Well, any more nearby? Well, a little bit over there. All right, heading over. I will say it's updating as I move because uh, as I got close enough to this node that I just mined, it, it popped up. So leaving it on is definitely not a bad idea. I mean, obviously toggling it off so that you save the durability is also good. So you do you. I found it wasn't super expensive to make, so I'm not gonna like be crazy about the durability thing, but awesome. And then I'm assuming that'll refresh. Yeah, look, it already did. Nice. And yeah, as I move along here, we're definitely finding more. And what I've been doing is just opening up my trash can and voiding stuff that I don't necessarily need a lot of, like coal and iron. Like I think, yeah, we're good there, right? Hello, modium. Modium? Mm. Hello, stuff. Yeah, there's another one over there I want to go get. Yeah, as I explore up at this level, I'm finding a lot, by the way. So this is the place to be, up near the top of these caves. All right, if I'm not mistaken, that's probably one of the last ones around here. 
Um, mostly just saying that because I've been around a lot. There might be a few more, but I'm going to teleport home because I've got, once again, a full inventory uh, that we need to, to deal with. So let's see how we made out in terms of modium. And then we're going to probably make some OP armor and tools. I think that's I think that's my plan. So put away this junk. So how do we make out with modium? Another 19. Nice. I like that. I'll take it. I will definitely take it, actually. So straight down here into the processing of things. And then I do not feel bad at this point using it. Uh, but let's make sure we use first for progression purposes, right? So what did I get bounty board wise? Oh, cool. I killed some creepers. Nice. And I've got some experience to store, which I should really start taking advantage of and using properly. Because first and foremost, my insightful crystal is going to fill up pretty soon. So that's a thing we need to be aware of. Okay, cool. So with all the modium processing, let's take a look at getting started too. So the next thing we need to do is create a teleport pad. That's how we get to the other. Place the pad down in the nether and shift right click with an empty hand. Okay, well that looks pretty straightforward. So we have to go to the nether and then place this thing down, right? Sweet. To the other. Piglick heart. The other is a dangerous place. Make sure to be prepared. This is also where you'll find pig liches. You'll need their hearts. Okay. Uh, for your next mining level upgrade, you'll need vibranium. Can only be found in the other from Y0 to 20. And I assume there's a vibranium potion and charm. Yes, look. Charm of vibranium site. Cool beans. Maybe what I should do is bring... You know, that would be smart. What if we made a crafting table and am I like completely out of wood right now? That would be very dire. Nope, I'm good. What if we made a crafting table and we brought our brewing stand with us uh, along with some bottles of water? I don't know if I'm going there yet, but I think I should definitely, I'm assuming that I'm being given these ridiculously overpowered tools and armor for a reason. And that reason is probably that this other place is dangerous. So let's prepare a little bit before we go there. Um, but we bring this stuff, right? And tell me about what do we need for the vibranium stuff? So we need a calcinated vibranium powder, which is smelted. And we need a mundane potion, which is sugar again. Let's let's just get everything we need, and maybe while we're there, all in one go, that would be cool, right? So we do this, we do that, and we do that. And then we should probably bring a furnace with us. And we could probably bring some fuel. And that would be cool. So then we find vibranium, and then while we're there, we can craft what we need, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? So all I need is blaze powder the furnace, vibranium powder, which is an ender powder, mortar, and pestle, right? So I do this, I do this, and then I bring the mortar and pestle with me so that we're ready to go to make everything. Cool? Um, now let me get some more cows going on over here because I would like to try to make a backpack right now. Anybody else for food? You guys all good now? Are we cool? Good, good, good. All right, how many leather do I have at the moment? I have eight. Okay, and if I want a backpack, what do we have here? We've got sophisticated backpacks. Nice. Okay, cool. Do we have enough leather for that? Actually, we probably do at this point. All right, beautiful. So let's get a sophisticated backpack going on, because I'm pretty sure that's the one we're going to want, right? This is the one that 
I had my last series, right? That has like all the cool, yeah, yeah, all the cool upgrades, like the auto feeding and all that stuff. It's a hundred percent what I want. Uh, and then I think there's like an iron version of it. Yes. Okay. So let's upgrade you to the iron version and upgrade you to the gold version and upgrade you to the diamond version. And you just need another rack. But it, is there a hotkey? Nice. Nice. That's what's up. Cool, 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 cool. All right, great. Excellent. Perfect. So now I can start storing, you know, like my wrenches. Boop, boop, boop. And my gadgets. Boop, boop, boop. And that can go into the backpack. And now we're starting to get somewhere, right? So now we've got resources to hold. Awesome. All right. Uh, what I'm also going to do is probably put this stuff in my backpack for the time being so that we're ready. I don't need the all the modium site, but the backpack can hold these things. This will be my I need to craft a charm thing, right? So we've got the teleport pad. Um, sophisticated backpacks. Where's that feeding upgrade? That would be you. You have a lot of things that you need, but boop. I don't have any melons. Do I have any melon seeds? We don't have melon seeds, really? None? None, none, none? We sieve dirt, we might get some. 35% chance sieving dirt with another right mesh. What if we did that? There you go. That'll do. And I had a watering can. Back in a sec. Now this is interesting. I bone mealed the melon seeds and it grew into a watermelon. But eh, whatever. We're good now. Just leave that guy then. All right. Feeding upgrade. We need a golden apple. And we need a golden carrot. We don't have any carrots either. We don't have any carrot seeds. Uh, carrot seeds. Sieving dirt again. Carrot seeds are a 5% chance with dirt. Are you going to do all nine at once? You would do. Okay, cool. I think we got any carrot seeds from this? Not yet, we haven't. Wow, that's unfortunate. I think I can buy a carrot on the market, though. <laughs> Hello, weathered salesperson. Carrot, please. Thank you. Much appreciated. And then we can get our feeding doohickey. I want to hang on to my Philosopher's Stone for a minute, by the way. Sweet, feeding upgrade. Uh, and then I don't think it's, I don't even know what the difference is, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So uh, into here, and then you. Only feed when the player is hungry enough to only waste half the hunger points of the food at most. Feed player immediately when hurt, ignores hunger settings. Cool. Um, so this is an empty blacklist. So if I put the mashed potatoes in here, it should be automatically feeding me now. And that's all there is to it. All right, let's get some armor and gear uh, of type modium, right? So I wouldn't mind a pickaxe, which is going to need one, two, three of these. And one, two of these. Ooh. 
Sweet. I'm going to assume that I need the all the modium pickaxe to mine the vibranium. I'm not sure of that, but also unlimited durability. So that's a thing, right? Um, and then let's go in the order of uh, piglins become neutral. So I definitely want the helmet. Um, I want the boots first for no fall damage. How's that? I'm probably going to need all of them. Yeah, let's just make them all because I have more than enough. Right? More than enough to make it all. Dude, how cool is this stuff, huh? How great is this? I like it a lot. Uh, so yeah, I call that a big win. Now, that was a bunch of quest rewards, apparently. Oh, the backpacks I got some stuff for, too. Cool. Ooh, I got vibranium nuggets for doing this. That's neat. Okay, cool. Uh, now that can be used, just out of curiosity, I assume that I need a full-blown nugget for this. Yeah, or an ingot, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's a shame. Yep, need a whole ingot. So we don't quite have enough vibranium yet. All right, so I think we're pretty much at the wrapping up point for this episode, but we've made huge progress today. Twilight Forest, check. Got through a bunch of all the modium gear and tools and weapons ready. Uh, we've got some nifty gadgets to try out. Uh, let's see. I wanted. I got this ore magnet in one of the chests in the Twilight Forest, and I've been hanging on to it to play with a little bit. Ready to teleport home if I need. I don't know that we need our watering can, but we can go ahead and do that. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to put my brewing stand in there, too. Uh, I'll put my charm of modium in there. Uh, and everything else. Magic map can probably go in there as well. That all looks good. All right, so what we're going to do is wrap up the episode here, come back next episode, and check out the other. So step one is go to the nether. Step two will be visiting the other. And that's going to be uh, pretty straightforward. I think all we do is place this teleport pad in the nether, and it'll teleport me to the other. That's all there is to it. And then we can charge porter our way home. I assume there's a way home without a charge porter, but, you know, you never know. Maybe there isn't. Uh, so my thoughts are, I'll just build another portal between episodes, and then we'll come back next episode and go. Sound cool? All right, wrapping up point, Devil 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.